but they might not want to talk about. Oh fuck! I already fucked it up. Hang on. It was perfect. It I'm was editing. perfect. <laughs> it was the perfect okay. idea. We're kickstarting the F Plus 2.0, an innovative place for terrible things. Red with enthusiasm. In the room tonight, we have Boots Rain Gear, the Omega of Psychology, Bunny Bread. I got an idea so you can electronically cut out and keep newspaper items. This isn't like bookmarking, because fuck you. Jimmy Franks. My app is like a Facebook for Uber. Lemon. Talk War is a mobile app used by Israel and Arab people to fight via text. Like comments. Oh, and poor text. Caveman Spongebob used to plank to the Harlem Shake. Then he took an arrow to the knee. Fuck you! Yeah! Oh, that's none of my Christ. business. <laughs> that was everything. Wrapped in bacon. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you're right. Now it's everything. But don't go getting any wrong ideas. Hey, F+. Plus. Yeah. Hey, Lemon. Hi, Lemon. Huh? Hey, how uh, diversified are your uh, tech portfolios these days? I got some C. I got some C++. I got some C Sharp. I got some Objective C. I got a Trapper Keeper. I got a Peachy. Yep. I got uh, just a couple of Manila folders. Some, like, Lisa Frank stickers. Yeah, man. Those rainbows and unicorns. Excellent. Uh, well, uh, I am going to take us today uh, to a site uh, delivered to us by a meet. Uh, and that site is called Ideas Watch. Um, there's a YouTube video on the front page of this ugly site, and then it says, get to know 6,000 entrepreneurs and developers from more than 160 countries via sharing and discussing startup ideas. Start Ooh, a startup business. Startup ideas. Those are never dumb. No, 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 no. They're never oh, yeah. dumb, and they're never doomed to fail. Never. It's a sure thing. I idea swatch I, ideas idea swatch so you get you get your ideas you put like three mm -hmm. or four of them on your arm right and you uh, hold up against the wall to see which idea is gonna stick <laughs> uh yeah so uh so this is a community for uh startup uh ideas and uh there's uh very exciting um ideas that we're gonna find out about and probably potentially uh, invest in. Uh, we'll start off with this one here. Uh, it's an idea shared by Adam Coor, and I believe that's uh, Boots Rain Gear. And, 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 uh, and Adam, uh, what's your idea there? Uh, yeah, I'm Adam. Okay, I've got a pop-up on my screen. I'm going to dismiss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure now, this is a startup last. idea. I'm Adam Coor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and this is Software Development Controlled by the People. Oh, finally. <laughs> Finally, the, pro <laughs> the proletariat is in charge. Software development controlled by fish. Still unattainable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you think. Huh? Ever have an idea for an app, game, new idea for a piece of software, but uh, just don't possess the skills needed to make it real? No, we're on the internet, no. so yes. <laughs> All of us. So do a lot of people. Mm -hmm. The idea is creating a website slash app that puts people with great ideas in a place where programmers can decide if they want to get on board and make it a reality. Mm -hmm. So this site, is it this site that you're pitching? No, it, this is, it's a revolutionary idea where you come up to people that know how to do stuff and say, Hey, I have a great idea for a thing. Do you want to do all the work for it? No, no, no. I just use Twitter for that. I, I, no. I open up Twitter and I go, draw me free banner. And then they say no. It works out really well. <laughs> oh well then. No, and it's, I said it's, I said it's a site controlled by the people. All of them. Oh, dummy. Okay, gotcha. The entire system runs on ideas being thrown out. Good. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> yeah. It's efficient. It's I like it already. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> let's start with this one. No. All right. Well, let's start with it. I guess in this one neither. Yeah. Ideas being thrown out, voted on. Programmers decide that there's, there's some really good grammar in this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Entire system runs on ideas being thrown out, voted on. Programmers decide that they want to be on board with a project. And collaboration happens from anywhere in the world to develop this idea. Any money made from this idea mm -hmm. is split equally. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. So you get, each gets half. I say there should be like a Mario game, but yeah. it's not. But better. 
but better. Yeah. All right. Now you make it. Idea, mm-hmm. and then somebody makes it. They get half the money and you get the other half yeah. the money because yeah. you've had the idea. And that's most of the work now, isn't it? Yeah. Right. This also I don't know puts if I like people... the sound of this, comrade. <laughs> <laughs> this also puts people with aspirations of programming in the same room as the ex- experts, allowing them to reach out and enhance their skills. No, it doesn't. In essence, you are creating a software slash app development company that is completely controlled by the people. (laughs) Okay. No idea is thrown out without a vote, and imagination is allowed to be freely discussed. Yeah, imagination is banned on most other ideas, (laughs) but... Yeah, so it's a free thing where one person has the idea and tells the other person what everything needs to be like, Mm -hmm. and the other person does it. Right, yeah. Yep. It's and awesome. since this is such a great idea, I'm assuming someone's already made this app, right? Well, can you tell me some of these uh, co-founders that you have in your idea? Uh, maybe. Yeah, you <laughs> must have scroll down. Oh. You must you must have some co-founders. Yeah, <laughs> scroll down. <laughs> it's the section right underneath co-founders. <laughs> oh, co-founders. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. A picture of two stupid-looking marshmallows. Mm-hmm. Get in touch with people passionate about realizing the idea. Show others how you can contribute. Oh. Is that it, a button that says, I want to do this. Is that a given name, or is that, like, their username? Get in touch with passionate people? Show others how you can contribute, like all those people that contributed to that Mars mission. That was a... Uh, By designing theater clothes. That was a... Uh, I mean, that was an okay reading, Boots. Um, this, this, uh, this, this idea has uh, one square of popularity. <laughs> it has no squares of discussion, no squares of similar projects, and no co-founders. Well, I mean, that was, they, that was, you pretty much covered it right off the bat. It needs no further co-founders. I mean, you just did it. You went out there and you a, got it. You made a paragraph. <laughs> that was a reasonable enough reading, Boots. I, I, I kind of liked it, but, like, I don't know what to value it at. I mean, the yeah. thing is, like, I wish that I had a way to value to value my friends monetarily. Uh, okay. All my friends are hookers, so they kind of know. <laughs> Bunny, never, Brett, Bunny Brett, do you think you could... We never could, had a rating system for this podcast before, I'm afraid. Bunny, Bunny Brett, do you think you could help me, like, value my friends monetarily? I, I'm not into money or friends, but, uh, okay. yeah, yeah, of course. <clears throat> hey there, guys. Uh, hey. hey, I'm gonna here to talk about social network for price-valuing friends. You see the Gophers game yesterday? I did, yeah, yeah. It was pretty good there. <laughs> this guy's a banger, yeah. Okay. Would you register in a social network that will allow your friends to put a price tag on you based on the thought they have on how much you value? I was going to say no, but seeing as how you didn't ask a question, now I can't. Sorry, no opportunity. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah, don't don't <laughs> put in here. All right. The price would be limited, say, from $1 to $1 million. You hmm. would be able to put a price to your friend and a monomalacy. If he has many friends for a specified amount of friends, the value of his friends in dollars would increase because people have envy. Yeah, no. If he has if he has many friends for a specified amount of friends. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If he has yep. many okay. God. The specified amount is many. So, <laughs> okay. so people with great you can value have many or specified. Yes. People with great value and price from time to time would be awarded with a monetary prize or coupon. Tell me your opinion. I, now I want to collaborate with this. I want to co- I want to co-found this idea and name this thing Shitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> Shitcoin. Well, How well Jimmy that? Franks, I give you twenty shit coins for that idea. Oh, so there's <laughs> there's a couple of comments though. I I feel discus bunch of random uh, words has a. Well, then take it. Helps it. I can build this idea. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you can build an idea how to have friends. I don't. So, what is? Where does the monetary like? How much money they have? Or so like, in dollars? What their friendship means to you? Yeah. So I guess you like get money by having like more Twitter followers, but I don't know where that money would come from. Maybe, maybe I have you. You have to. Hey? You probably have to uh, see if you look at the co founders, yeah. Uma, yeah. who I can only assume is Uma Thurman, yeah. Yeah. Uh, says, they I can are. fund it. Yeah, Uma Thurman's from Singapore. Singapore, Singapore right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jimmy Franks, will you help me sell rumors online? 
Fuck yeah. Excellent. Sell rumors? I got all these rumors. <laughs> no where oh, to put man. them. Sell rumors online. Some people can predict upcoming events very well or know some inside information that will be revealed in the future, uh -huh. but they might not talk about them for any reason, maybe because it's private, can be used for profits later, or dangerous. Yes. Or you can go to Money prison can... for insider trading. <laughs> Money can change their mind. Sure can. <laughs> Here is my idea. There is a site when everybody can set a price for his rumor and give some hints what is about. Uh, come on. <laughs> come on. Yeah. Huh? So, uh, my rumor is like about a... sex. And <laughs> so, I'm a, sex. I'm a, so I'm a Dungeons and Dragons uh, tavern keeper. Right. Well, I mean, <laughs> keep reading and... Uh... No, oh, no, shit. no, no, no. <laughs> This is this is the uh, this is the Silk Road for whether or not Brenda gives blowjobs. <laughs> People who wants to know what rumor is is pays some money for this rumor, and when required amount is gathered or not gathered, owner of rumor decides oh, sure the works. rumor becomes public. <laughs> Damn it! P.S. Inspired by RPG games, where in some pub you pay for rumor about dragons, for example. <laughs> See, Boots? Oh, you got it. <laughs> Go on, buddy. You did it. Boots blowing the whistle on your own bullshit schemes oh, well, is kind of weird. Hang on, uh, but uh, some anonymous what? person does have a... Yeah, anonymous wants to say, pirating! How would you prevent <laughs> someone from taking that idea and spreading it to the world so no one else would buy it? I'll I've got a response to that. Great stuff! Uh, by idea, <laughs> you mean rumor? Yeah, it's a problem if you sell your rumor to one people, but if you gather hmm. money from many people and then make your rumor public, then it makes sense. It's similar to crowdfunding. It sure so it's is. like I'm thinking of a number between one and ten. If you guys pay me five bucks, I'll eventually tell you what the number is. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck cares? I Who know the number on now. God's green earth would ever fucking <laughs> Okay, care. how much money do you want for the number? Uh, I really gotta know the number, man. Look. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Putting animation again for the twelfth time. Uh, Portex. Yeah. Do you have a uh, app you want to share with uh, us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fake at party app. What's your name? <laughs> My name is Mike PHP. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fork of PHP. <laughs> Mike. Yeah, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Fupu. Guys, I need an app that can create background noise, loud music, people talking, etc. During a call, it would be great to fake traffic and many other situations. I really need this when my ex calls so I can pretend I'm not having fun on my Android. <laughs> Maybe get financed at appbacker.com. Maybe. Maybe. I need oh. to trick people into thinking I'm having fun. <laughs> and you guys pay me for it. Uh, Boots, uh, do you have a uh, comment for that? Sure do. Uh, loser. Oh. Dude, get a life and actually go out. And why are you taking calls from your ex? Loser. I can show how much I don't care, asshole. Hey, hey, this is, uh, this is Vincent Valentino. How about instead of pretending you're out having fun, you actually do get out and have this some is how fun? I you like fun. playing Pokemon Go or... There? Guess what? Before you know it, you won't care if your ex calls or what they think, because you'll have made new connections and feel better about yourself. You know, Vincent, you don't have Anonymous, to cover up the like fact that you're my ex this Vincent whole Valentino time. Now. <laughs> I'm saying this to a guy named Mike PHP. It's pronounced. <laughs> Sorry. Hey guys, uh, my name's uh, my name's Ahmed. What's up? Hey Ahmed. Uh, I've noticed a problem. All right. Yeah, hyphen greater than. In the heat of the moment, suicidal people can only think of one option. Suicide. I mean... It's like what gives them the name, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's... Yeah. Yeah, so what if we give them an alternative during that crucial moment to deciding to commit suicide? Hmm. Okay, so sort of outreach like, or, or counseling oh, and, and or helping them out some kind of hotline mm, or, or... Those are interesting yeah, ideas. Those, those, that's an interesting idea. I came up with a different solution. Oh, it's under the okay. header solution. Hyphen greater than, at the crucial moment, these people can request a runaway trip with a touch of a button on the smartphone. Kidnapping? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> a train with no brakes? You just get Hyphen hit by greater a than, it is okay to die as long as you can come back. Whoa, whoa, whoa faking death? Is that what this is about? <laughs> We are suggesting like flatliners. We are suggesting that you die in a better way, i.e., escape from the current situation. That's not Aren't death. Escaping from huh? the, uh, hey, are you depressed? Why not have a trip for one to the Dominican Republic? <laughs> <laughs> Hyphen greater than seeing another place and spending time there will help them rethink and regroup. Hyphen yeah. hyphen greater than. Volunteer counselor welcomes at the traveler at the airport. <laughs> hyphen hyphen greater than counseling service offered during trip. Parentheses optional. So it's Op- counseling okay. but on a goddamn cruise. You just want to go on a cruise, so, don't you? No, it's yeah, not I'm sad about not going on a cruise. I'm going to kill myself not going on a cruise. No, that's, I mean, so this whole thing is people are suicidal. They feel bad. How about we take them on trip and they no feel bad no more? <laughs> you know, I think this is a solution for the dying uh, travel agency industry is yeah. tapping this as yet. Yeah, combining it, yeah. Uh, I mean, you can segment. still call it dying travel agency industry. Yeah, you just, well, you, so yeah. <laughs> you reroute all that Boys Town National Hotline sweet, sweet money, mm-hmm. yep. you know, <laughs> into, into all these businesses. Yeah. <laughs> Getting, yeah. Knock those fat cats off their high horse. They had it, exactly. Really, suicidal people have had it too good for too long. <laughs> Time to take them down a peg. Also, like, there's really no better cure for suicidal depression than being isolated in a place <laughs> surrounded by people that are happy. <laughs> that you don't know. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy Franks, I would like a cheap date, please. Oh, can do, friendo. Excellent. What's your name? My name is... He's the first is... person you thought of, too. Easy boy. I think, I think you're easy E boy. Easy E boy. <laughs> I know this may be a silly idea, yet sometimes I just want to go on a date right now, but mm. not looking for someone who is going to charge a high price or require me to dress up. Charge a high price to date them? <laughs> Yes, I think in this guy's world, people charge him money. To it's like him. Mowgli was lost in the jungle and raised by hookers. <laughs> <laughs> I want a date right away without the hassle of looking or searching for a long time, trying to woo the other person to date me or convince them that I'm a good guy. Uh, I want it to be quick, easy, and someone to date nearby. I might be an asshole. I'm up for anything, really. I have to rhyme again. Shit. Yeah. I, I want, want someone to, I want to smother your mother I... and tell your sister <laughs> yeah, that you love her. Yeah. <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> a mobile app where everyone on the site agrees to be a date on demand. Especially oh. the women. <laughs> the service would require people to be interviewed. Background checks would be held on every user. And the user would have to renew their background every year. The only thing that you would be required to be a dater on demand. Oh, great. So just any woman in the vicinity will go on a date with you right that great. We'll, you know, we'll just call it Boober. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not a bad name. I mean, yeah. I feel like the name's pretty strong. I'm going to invest $2 million on your name alone. <laughs> <In Boober>? And <laughs> you gonna, know what? I'm if you pivot you... to a different business model, that's fine. <laughs> I'm going to give you two orange marshmallows for that. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite amount and color of marshmallows. So good. <laughs> uh, Boots, I'd like to know a little something about photo body. That's F O T O B O D Y. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you mean photography? Yeah, yeah. Um, no photography. Photo body. Gordon James Campbell, and this is photography. <laughs> photography. Yeah. I like it. Uh, like people's eyes? No. Mm. How about their smile? No, definitely not. Do you dig tattoos yeah. on the back? Giving them or no mm-hmm. dig like dig them out of the skin. Oh yes, definitely. <laughs> dig tats, piercings on the nose. On the nose? Do you have a thing for feet? My things on your feet right now. Yeah. I only date snakes. <laughs> I have piercings on my feet. <laughs> In this network, you have a profile where you can upload photos for different parts of your body. Oh! Oh no! Oh, oh, oh no! no. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Bodyharvest.com. It's gonna be, yeah, you draw like the little cuts of meat, like lines all over your body uh, when you upload this it. This next sentence has an amazing typo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you will never show people the whole picture. That's my favorite <laughs> picture to show people. That's, 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 yeah, that's the one body part you won't show people. I will show them my Courtney love. I will do anything for love, but I won't do that. 
show off your best features, and of course, find the feature you like. Oh, okay. I'm thinking of four general areas. Okay. One, maintain photos of the body parts. Yeah, okay. Two, body art filtering. What? Three, piercing filtering. What? Four, workout area. Yeah, that makes sense. The workout my area, best like feature is my gallstone that got taken out. <laughs> Date me. <laughs> workout area? In each of these, the, the, the workout area. Workout oh, area. If you only do no, leg the day. Place with the the muscles parts, in the skin. Body art filtering. That one yeah. spot. Filtering, workout area. Okay. I don't see why you're not following this. I'm done. In each of these four areas, you can see the main feature, which is browse photos of specific parts of the body. Jesus Christ. Unnecessary close parentheses. Uh-huh. Plus extensive info and community focusing on the subject. Get ideas for you next tattoo. What? <laughs> what? That's wait, the dumbest what? feature so far. That's a wait, great earlobe. Wait, You're going to get a tattoo wait. of Tweety Bird. <laughs> Check out the perfect workout to get those killer abs. You get the idea. Body parts would include... For example, I know what body parts. Forget it. No, <laughs> keep eyes, going. Nose. Uh, yeah. Mouth. What? Uh-huh. Wait. What neck, about hair? Back. Coffee cup. Arms. <laughs> torso. Legs. Feet. Gizzard. No nudity. Positive. No. Do no lab. nudity. Yeah. Keeping this clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. So it's a picture this. of. Close-ups on a clothed person. Yeah, yeah. can my uh, killer no. abs under the shirt? Yeah, no, no, no. Abs, baby, underneath the sweater. I think I can make out an elbow. <laughs> it's important that this app that is hyper focused on psychopaths who who are fetishists, uh, you know, wouldn't be, wouldn't, you know, get no unclean things. Please. But no, no creepy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think weird science. <laughs> anyway, well, now I gotta <laughs> masturbate. Be lying back. <laughs> All right. Every time I bring that up. Sorry. Oh. You're applauding your own masturbation? <laughs> Why, hey, is good that- job, <laughs> Why is it bad an app on here? An app that applauds your masturbation? Yes, every time you bring up yeah. anything involving Anthony Michael Hall, that happens. <laughs> well, no, early, <laughs> like early Anthony Michael Hall. Like, not Edward Scissorhands, Anthony Michael Hall. Oh, yeah, I know. Like, it sounds it- like a... A, a porn site for Bizarro from Superman. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Me not horny. <laughs> anyway, been thinking on this idea for a while. I think it has an interesting reach for a particular public. Yeah, I wonder what. I don't know. Killers. Know you got a tagline, I, I don't think, you? I think this is my tagline. <laughs> Join in and meet every... Buddy. Oh. oh! Come on. You had me till you said Meet all those words. Meet everybody. <laughs> that, that, that tagline should really, uh, should, needs a lol after it. It, oh. it really does. <laughs> or I uh, just and, kidding. Uh, yeah. Hey, Buddy Brett, I stole one of your co-founders. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dre. Oh. <laughs> oh, I forgot about Dre. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> I missed that. Uh, Bunny Brad, I'm going to give you a choice. Yes, this works out well for me. It certainly does. Right, All right, decision. option number one is application for golf players, and golf is misspelled as golf. <laughs> golf players, application yeah. for golf players. Yeah, those for the Middle East. Yep. Uh, and the other is called My Game Called Slicer. Ooh. My Game Called Slicer. Both of these can My be game called golf Slicer. Related, maybe? Uh, uh, let's see here. I Whichever f- way you want to go. I feel like I uh, slice. Uh, yeah, I like circumcision. All right, let's all go right, slice. Going sl- <laughs> you like circumcision, do this, you? How this, much do you like circumcision? Like one to ten. If the game turns out to be about circumcision, I will be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Banned from the iOS store. <laughs> <laughs> all right, tell me about your game called Slicer. <clears throat> My game is called Slicer. Okay. Oh dear. Hello. My name Hello. is Leland Lewis. I'm looking to get this game built, and I've created a concept inspired by Fruit Ninja, but with different Uh-oh. game Uh-oh. mechanics. Oh, this might be it. 
I, uh, uh, there's just no, penises it's flying at you. You'd have to circumcise it really fast. I got yeah. All these dicks fly in the air. Oh, it's this awesome. looks like this website. Uh, but with different game mechanics, so I can't get sued. That meant m- uh, t- to be more fun and gives you a and good challenge concept. Okay. <clears throat> One, the game allows you to control time and space itself. So you know, you Emo Phillips, venture capitalist. Yeah. <laughs> Two, using personal play system to create your style of gameplay, but based on various principles such as you know time or space or more. You know, oh, that's also, my gameplay style. I know, I know how you like the more. more. Three, yeah, I'm, I'm getting more. Later on, can use certain puck to amplify games play, and if not used, it's gonna have side effects. Okay, literally every word that you're saying is making me more confused right now. I, yeah, <laughs> it's you're not I, the only one. I'm pretty sure it's just Fruit Ninja, but hockey. Shut up. No, I you can control space, that, time, and more in Fruit that Ninja. That pitch would have made way more sense if he, it was yeah. only one sentence. Fruit Ninja, but hockey. <laughs> <laughs> 1,000 upvotes on Product Hunt. <laughs> so many marshmallows. I wanted to see this game be made and getting out. Also, even after that, gameplay should continue to get better, but with new challenges and hunger for more and maybe new features to make it even more fun. Holy shit. <sighs> okay, uh, Leland Lewis, I am still really confused, really, 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 really confused by your game called Slicer. You mean, can you maybe, like, compare it to a similar project? Um, well, there's Braid. You control space and time. You know how that is. What, okay, so that's so that's similar then. The braid is similar. Uh, maybe a little bit similar. <laughs> you know, it's a thing that happened on the computer once. Okay, I mean, yeah, no, fair enough. It's more similar than a bag of oranges. <laughs> it's a word that consists of consonants and vowels as well. So we got that. Oh my! Uh, yeah, yeah, it's cool, cool mm-hmm. slicer, man. I'm just investing in slicer. this shit left and right. I'm, I'm uh, starting to appreciate there were no that dicks the, in that. I'm just starting to appreciate that the the, uh, the name they give for people with ideas on here are ideators. Ideators. Uh, poor tax. I think you have an idea that's really going to help us. It's, humanity, okay, yeah. Right? Um, my idea is a kind of different kind of slicer, actually. Um, oh, yeah. It's a the bank of organs. The bank huh? of Oregon. Bank? No. <laughs> oh, the whole thing, the whole state. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bank of organs. Oh, oh dear. Organs. Yeah. Uh, I see the problem of money as something that need real funding. Yeah. Say something that is around half a million dollars per head. Money does need funding. Yes. Yeah. It takes money to get funding. Yep. Yes. To fund this, I propose we sell Al our body for organs collection to different insurance companies. Hey, hey, this is Al. Bring your body down here. We'll give you the lowest, the best prices, and the most service. Look, I came down here and said Al's auto body shop. This is not what I thought was going hey, to happen. Hey, the word auto's crossed out. What were you expecting? Oh. Well, what if I have bad credit, Al? Bad credit? No credit, we will buy your body parts. <laughs> it's cost an arm and a leg to get this fixed. Uh, anyway, they will pay the average value minus its running costs of what your feet by means of a bank account, non inheritable. Have it until 21, yo, and at this age, start spending or do whatever with the body parts. The collection company will collect all our organs once we die. Yay! Specifically, you when you die, right? The company will take your like organs. All our organs once we die. Okay, so, okay, so, this is organ futures that you're selling, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah like, like I'm gonna, you give me money for my organs, and then you'll get them later when they're useless, right? Right. What tags did you give your bank of organs idea? The tags that I have are, uh, death. Funding, marketing, organs, poor, <laughs> selling. Yes, I agree. Poor selling. You know, you know. If you listen to Alex Jones, they already have something like this. It's called Obamacare. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> All 
Ah! Ah! <laughs> 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 like... I like to fight. I like to have <laughs> children. <laughs> Uh, uh, section number one uh, of uh, this document put by uh, A-Meat is called Stupid Ideas for some reason. Um, I'm going to do another one of these stupid ideas, but I'd like you to choose for me, if you would, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, excellent. So uh, I've got uh, I've got two different options here. There's a Facebook WhatsApp for blind persons. It's kind of fun. And the Touch It Feel It store I like a lot. Uh, but I'm going to give you uh, two options here. Bunny Bread, uh, augmented reality game, mm-hmm. or hitchhiker's glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I stole the glasses from this hitchhiker I murdered. Someone buy them off me. <laughs> well, I harvested it, his know, eyes, man. too, for the organ guy. Yeah, they were glasses. left over from the organ store. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, don't panic. Uh, here we go. Uh, so you put on a glasses... And they dis- <laughs> and they Ew. display in real time colon. You're looking at a street and see various cars. Glasses display information right above them, where the driver is headed and whether or not he can take hitchhikers. So you're selling magic? <laughs> <laughs> Magical glasses? <laughs> Yes, the, the ass grass or Google Glass ball. <laughs> yeah, <exactly>. oh, oh <laughs> my! Uh, Yay! Oh. Wow! Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, okay, you know who to make contact with to get where you want to go. The glasses could be connected to a hitchhiking system. That's one word, camel cased. Uh, for phones, updated in real time. Application connected to GPS. What do you think? How many marshmallows would you give this? I would give it like at least none. Like, <laughs> maybe less. I, you pick up a hitchhiker, he climbs to the back of the car and says, my magic glasses told me you'd be here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, can I get you to invest in an Oregon bank while we're talking? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy likes it. Uh, <laughs> hey, Bunny Brad? You. Will you please tell me about the flavored hemp cigarette? Motherfucker, <laughs> I've been waiting my whole life to tell you about the flavored hemp cigarette. <laughs> Shit. All right, man. I wonder what it's like. What does it do for you? It, well, you know what it does for me? Everything. All right. Hang on now. Let me tell you about my favorite thing in the whole wide world. This is called the flavored hemp cigarette. My name is Sean McMillan. McMillan, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever wanted to quit smoking, but enjoy the leisure of its pastime too much? Or wanted to smoke something herbal but didn't like the taste or mind-altering chemistry? Well, then you have found your match. With the hemp-flavored cigarettes, you get all the fun without the guilt. No way in hell that's possible. All right, no, now, (laughs) smoke, natural herb grown from the earth with no or low THC. So, completely negating the purpose of smoking. What? So we get, we get that delicious flavor, though. You know, like the flavor of skunkweed? Hell, shit, yeah. Oh, my God. I always wanted to smell like I hit something with my car. But <laughs> these cigarettes... Oh, the smell of burning rope. Mm. <laughs> but these cigarettes... Oh, that's right. It's actually not flavored like pot. It's flavored like hemp. <laughs> yeah. You can make a nice belt out of it. <laughs> But these cigarettes will be flavored just the same as you most favorite smoking brands. From Turkish blend to menthol, these are just cigarettes that fuck. Huh? I mean, shit. Now huh? get the best of both worlds. And now, and no, whatever you're inhaling is from the natural wonders of our beautiful home we call Earth. Our, be- our what? Earth, of wonders, of wonders of our wonders of what? And no, whatever you're in. Your possessive inhaling is from the natural wonders of our Budifo home we call Earth. <laughs> so, let's change the way we view vices by thinking outside the box! Whoa. So, I, I didn't understand, so... What are, what are the, uh, the, the tags on this one? So, you, you like the stink of weed, but you don't like getting high. It's like, it's like, yeah, the, it's like, like, like we the swapped out their lungs. cigarette with Folgers it's Crystal. It's a clove they cigarette, noticed. but it's flavored like rope. I Do think. you like lung cancer, but you hate feeling good? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, we do need to know the uh, tags here. Oh, innovation, lifestyle, living, 
smoking habits. Uh, those are all great, uh, but you forgot the first tag. <laughs> Didn't I Which see is it? non-breaking white space. <laughs> oh, I, what happened? It's a zen. Don't hurt his brain like that. <laughs> innovation. The first tag is space bar. Oh. <laughs> Comma. Innovation. <laughs> lifestyle. Living. Smoking habits. The concept of nothingness. Well, that sounds uh, that sounds great. You know, hey uh, I think I'm gonna actually invest in your app because I, I this seems perfect. Mm-hmm. I can't see that there would be any app that would that would appeal to my weed sensibilities more than this. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give money, you money. Thank you. Yeah, I got Thank you for all your idea, money, guys. Oh, do you? Oh. Yeah, my name's Keegan Quinn. Okay. And I've got vaporizer, bubble, smoke blower. Oh shit. Hmm. Oh shit! This would this would be a novelty item. What I would do is vaporize cannabis, which would then be blown into a non-toxic bubble solution, <laughs> so that uh, when what? the bubble pops, you can get a dose of medicine. <laughs> dose of medicine. Uh. Medicine. <laughs> So it's like Pepto Bismol bubbles flying through the air. So <laughs> I got some tags for you. What are your tags? Space bar. Right. Pocket the tag. Bubbles. You're right. Cannabis. Yeah. Novelty. Yeah. Party. Okay. Yeah. Vaporizer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So okay, so it's a vaporizer. So the vaporizer goes straight into the bubble. So like I hold on to yeah. a bubble. And then I shove the nozzle into it. Mm-hmm. You know how bubbles are up. easy to handle. You can, you yeah. can wrangle a bubble, bubble any day. Pop. And then when the bubble pops. Mm-hmm. Then that gets you high somehow. Then a doctor injects you with a needle. <laughs> well, doesn't matter if it's Vaporize a doctor. Vaporize a bubble smoke blower plus more. I'm not. Yeah, I'm it's not fun. holding. The bubble is floating in midair. I'm innocent. You can't arrest me. <laughs> it's, my, it's my dealer. He's called Dr. Ganja. <laughs> this is a Travis Rick Schaefer. Oh, oh, hi, Travis. I have an idea. It's a frat network. Can would I... you like to know more? No. Yeah. I yeah. Guess, I mean... This would be a social media app for fraternities. Isn't this what Facebook was supposed to be? This app would use GPS technologies to cr- locate the nearest frat event. <laughs> Only brothers and sisters are allowed. If you're in the frat, wouldn't you already know where the And each member has a certain number of invites per event. This ah, app would serve as a group messaging, event locator, pledge to-do list, etc. Please let me know if interested. I no. need a application developer. No, you don't. I think this could really take off in universities around the world. <laughs> Thanks, hashtag social media, hashtag college, hashtag fraternity. Yeah, except for you fucked up the tagging system. It doesn't work like that. Hey, he's it's the common only one have... moron. But yeah, first off, it's all one tag, but also he's the only one who doesn't have an empty spacebar tag, so I mean... <laughs> no, 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 empty spacebar tag is only for weed ideas. Yeah. <laughs> well, I suppose that would be... The, the empty spacebar stands for, um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Travis Rick Schaefer, that was a terrific, terrific app. It was really great hearing about that. Thanks so much. Thank you, yes. Yes, yes, uh, uh, but I want to tell you a little bit about my exciting product. Oh. It's called Coolect. It's got a Q in it, and there's also a K. Coolect. I, for some reason, I could get that domain. Who, who would have thought? <laughs> anyway, it, it's an innovative social e-commerce marketplace. Ooh. Uh, okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, terrific. Have a seat here. You need some punch? Uh, no, but I am I am definitely deficient on my the amount of buzzwords that I've uh, encountered today. So someone definitely does need to be punched. That is fantastic. The doors are locked, and we've turned the air conditioning off. We oh. imagine the future of the internet as ooh, we imagine the future of internet. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> How do you imagine? Such a great idea. Keep yeah. it together, man. Oh, I'm sorry, man. My idea is just so innovative yeah. that I. <clears throat> We imagine the future of internet as the internet mm, <laughs> in oh, the real well, world. Ooh, yeah, I, I get you. I get are you. one in everything. 
our world is getting more and more connected, and today, people mainly use internet for information seeking, Ooh. shopping, or go to social networks. Okay? Okay. My research shows this. Yes. So, Coolect, which is spelled the worst way you can imagine, <laughs> is a new concept mixing social networking, a collaborative platform, and a huge e-commerce website. It allows users to create, translate, share, and interact with pages. That's capitalized because it's obviously a trademark. Even more, you can tell the link forward slash relationship you have with a page. E.g. favorite movie, want to go in vacation here, do want this product. Want to commit suicide or not? <laughs> Well, then you get a vacation. <laughs> Pages can be about a brand, a product or service, a celebrity, a location, or an event from the whole world. The whole world? Is that hand gesture I'm doing an there? Event the, from whole the whole world. world? Users, which is also capitalized, put pages they like into themed lists they have created and can share these pages with their friends. Oh my For instance, God, this is some kind of interest with a P on it or something. Shit. Well, that doesn't have enough great consonants, like a K and a Q. You're right, you're right. But I like where you're going. For instance, we can have fun by collecting our entire music library. This is so much fun. Our dressing room. Mm -hmm, fun. What we like to or not, right? We can do that. We can Monuments we like. visited. Or places we would like to go, ellipsis. Opportunities are endless. Yeah. Hey, hey, I got an idea for a, like a song, and it's got like a, it's like a 70s cool rock Ooh. vibe. Yep, and it's that's about great. a hotel in California. <laughs> so I'm going to check in. Can I leave? No. Okay. I mean, you can check out, but you can't leave in the hotel in California. Uh, and other... Hmm, that's an interesting word. And other parcularity <laughs> is that each product and service page that we can find on the Coolect website can be sold by anyone. Ooh. <laughs> Individuals or professionals from anywhere. The platform can be seen as a huge supermarket. Here's some tags. Space bar. <laughs> so, Wait, what? so I guess one of those pages is weed. weed? <laughs> Big thing. Big thing is the tag. Uh -huh. Then there's change, commerce, events, network, products, social. Social. Yeah, nobody has any comments on my fucking terrific idea of well, Facebook, almost, but somehow well, even worse. Away, almost every this. single thing we've read has no comments. Like, almost every single idea. So it's... They're already perfect. Okay. I don't know how the hell you yeah. improve upon these things. Yeah, I'm uh, Bruno Kahn. Yep. Uh, swap my baby problem. A couple with children wants to go out to dinner, is struggling to find a trustworthy and cheap babysitter. Could we use a couple of neighbors with children instead of a babysitter? Invent neighbors with children. Of the service. A Tinder.com local for families in search of a babysitter. Uh oh. Will. What? No. Don't the... put those things in the same sentence, man. Oh, no. I don't uh, like babysitter in quotations either. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't like that? Yeah, I don't okay. like that. The babysitter. Oh, yeah, also in quotes, case, but this time it has a hyphen. Oh, okay, that's better. In this case, is not a youngster, as in the traditional model, rather a family within the same building slash area with children. Advantages. Oh. The family babysitter mm -hmm. is local, has children. I know them. I trust them. <laughs> oh, well then. <laughs> Yeah, He's, a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. It's Bruno Khan approved, you guys. <laughs> and he just got out of the joint like last week, so he needs a job. Yeah. Look, we're yeah. kind of, look, we look scary, but we won Bruno Khan's cool website of the day award, <laughs> so it's fine. Yeah, less likely to have problems since we're neighbors. It works as a reference system like Uber does between customers and drivers. Only it's your children. <laughs> and there's never been problems with Uber. Disrupt <laughs> babysitting. It's free. <laughs> they can ask me the same favor the other way next time. Keeping one more child shouldn't be a big problem. Mm, no, mm, no. So fucking easy. It yeah, it's be. a cinch. 
<laughs> and it could even create a sense of community. Yeah, this is man, this is a great idea because the thing that the thing that parents have a lot of is extra time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, potential customers, busy families in cities that want quality babysitter and want to save money. They want Thoughts both of welcome. those. <laughs> Thoughts welcome? I'm horrified. So they're selling the concept of people, parents knowing each other so they can offer to babysit each other's kids? (laughs) Need babysitter. No pay for exposure. (laughs) Will Oop babysit Babby for me? Uh, Okay, no, that's all right. I'm that's pissed me off, actually. All right, Uh Boots, we're going to go on a punch date. (laughs) <laughs> okay. Oh dear! We're gonna do a go on oh, punch date. Oh, finally! <laughs> My Thank fan God fiction Anna's is coming to life. Has invented punch dating. <laughs> All right, punch dating. It's an app about whenever you get pissed at work or at home or on the street, you punch someone on the app, and the closest person to you punching as well as you will be ch- chating with her about the reason, and she and he punch you, and that way you can start a conversation and get to know each other's. Punch dating. It's a dating app, but instead of a click like or hot, then ooh punch them and ooh get to know why they did that and try to make each other feel better. Lol. Submit your punch. <laughs> so you introduce your, yourself with a punch. I mean, like this yeah, is this like is it's, it's club, an app. It? Yeah, it's an app where you and some other rando just sock each other in the jaw and then be like, "What are you so pissed off about, bro?" <laughs> be like, "I don't know, man. They gave me the wrong chain." I'm just punch. <laughs> Uh, so that section, uh, once again, was called, um, uh, Stupid Ideas, uh, Long Enough, and, uh, this next section, uh, A-Meat has for us here is called Things That May Already Exist. <laughs> uh, we're gonna start off with Bunny Bread and the Coffee Jukebox. <laughs> coffee Jukebox! Coffee Jukebox. Coffee Jukebox! Hi, my name is Andrew Ray. And have you entered a coffee shop and did not like the music playing? No? Eh? Is classical music too painful nowadays? Oh my god, yes. Painful? Painful! It hurts you. It hits me right in the dick. You kids your Tchaikovsky, get the fuck off my lawn. Shit on you, Anton Bruckner. Have an app with a list of music users could play in queue while waiting at a coffee store. Limit certain times and genre is allowed for those fucking sensitive ears. Hashtag coffee fucking store jukebox. Shit! I don't understand. What? I do. What, what happened there? I don't know anymore. <laughs> what happened there? Similar projects. This is I, noise spot. Do you guys not like the music in a coffee shop? How about an app that changes the music in the coffee shop? It's called asking oh. the fucking barista to change the channel. <laughs> hey, uh, my name's Edward. Hey. Uh, this is cool, man. Uh, I love this fucking site. It's so much fun. Okay, so this is uh, this is called Battle of the Minds, right? Okay, okay. Okay, I thought of this yesterday. Okay. Uh, I was eating SpaghettiOs in the toilet. Sometimes you and your friend want to have a friendly competition to see who is smarter. What if there was a site that could let you do that by both you playing an interactive game or quiz? Okay, bye. <laughs> bye? I'm done. That's it? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. I need half the profits when you make this thing. All right. So this thing called trivia. It's all right. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. If anyone makes a fucking dime out of chess, I get that shit. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm building I'm it, so but awful. I don't know, man. No, no, no. It's good. Quiz it's good. games not being interactive whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> I fixed it. Hey, 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 hey! I got an idea. What's your, what's your idea? A social networking site for memes. Fuck you. Oh, no. Hey, well, just hear me out. Hear no, me out. Okay. No, no, I don't wait, want no, to. No, Fuck no. you. Wait, hold on. I got my no. foot in the door. You can't close it. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Check oh, it my out. God. Why is your foot uh, so strong? Uh, Why doesn't this hurt you? <laughs> I'm a man. Okay. We memes may be humorous and fun to read. Here, entire social networking site is used to post only memes. Uh, uh, does uh, that rustle your jimmies? Uh, uh, I don't know you what should a jimmy raise your is, dollars yeah. and it'll make you feel better. User, user will have option to generate a meme with simple tools and post it. People who have subscribed will get this posted meme on their dashboard feeds. Oh, uh, that feel when Lemon doesn't like the meme jokes. 
Why you no kill meme self? Jokes, meme jokes everywhere. <sighs> I'm sad now. <laughs> Oh, there's over 9,000 of these meme jokes. That's interesting. Holy oh, shit. God damn it! <laughs> oh, holy shit. All of them are belong to me, so oh, that's fine. Oh, my God. <laughs> he ate this. <laughs> you know, look at this double rainbow. It'll make you feel better. God, fuck you! Damn! <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, I have to move past this. I have to move that out of my brain. Maybe the flirt alert will do it to me. Uh, Boots, you tell me about the flirt alert? Mm-hmm. I'll tell you everything about the flirt alert. Okay, cool. Uh, I am Hook Moon. <laughs> and this is the flirt alert. It's an app that automatically imports your friends list from Facebook or other social network. And you can rank your friends in attractiveness. Would sleep with. Mm. Would date. Uh -huh. Hot. Somewhat attractive, best friend, normal friend, repulsive. You know, a standard Likert scale. I'm sorry, That's no, repulsive -y. I don't think repulsive is a word. Yeah. I don't think repulsive is oh, a word. Re re repulsive. -y. <laughs> repulsive. -y. Repuls repulsive. -y. Yeah, there, there it is. Say love repulsive. <laughs> Anonymously. Yeah. Your stats will remain private, and if two people rate each other as would date or would sleep with both will be informed Isn't this oh you know that creepy app? guy who knows your facebook account from work now he can tell you how much he wants to fuck you isn't that great <laughs> couldn't he do that with words before oh no he's such a nice guy he uh, can do it well, this, uh, right. since i came up with this idea another yep. person came up with a similar project oh Would no you like to know what it's called oh, oh what? what is it it's what? called Bang with Friends. Oh. Yes, I was about to, I, I was trying to remember the name of it. Yeah, this is the, yeah. So, <laughs> you took that shit and then you like said, hey, I want to make this exact same app. I'm also going to point directly on how you make that app. And, uh, yeah, here you go. Give me money. This has seven marshmallows worth of co-founders on it, though. It's uh, the flirtalert.com uh, is a website uh, that is uh, pretty entertaining to look at. Uh... I'm here on um, uh, theflirtalert.com forward slash what is one dot htm. <laughs> and uh, uh, there's about four words on the page. So it's and then, oh, there's some sort of puzzle. Maybe maybe I get to fuck if I fin if I win this puzzle. I do um, like the radar that's got the little kissy the kisses, faces on yeah, it. Those are cute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, let you, how, how look, let you know how close the stalkers are to your vicinity. <laughs> I'm kissing you! <laughs> um, okay, so uh, that section was again called uh, Things That May Already Exist. Uh, and this section is called Let's Gamify Everything! <laughs> you know this what, is, I'm for it. This is actually where like the venture capitalists are probably looking to. Uh, so, uh, I think Jimmy Franks, if you'll start us off with the truck driver score, please. Yeah, um, a uh, truck driver score. Uh, this is Arden Hudson, and uh, I got a startup idea. One portal in internet where company can hire a truck driver based on his or her score. A score will be given by current or previous company. Also, drivers get a higher score when they have done all known certificates and different extras. We own a trucking company, and I see that this could be one solution for as when hiring new people. Today, we don't know their background. If the driver is good, then their reputation will hide. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. Hey, can you, can you, I'm, I'm just only a little tiny, tiny bit confused by your truck driver score. Can you, can you tell me any like similar projects? Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, similar, but not that, uh, something like that, but Europe based and more attractive. Okay. <laughs> that all those women that tried to date you said the same thing about you. I smell burning toast. <laughs> and uh, did you leave any comments on your terrific idea? Uh, looking for co-founders who know how to build web page out from that idea. Also, someone <laughs> I don't have someone internet, to test. So, you know, I can't test. snatch the app from my hand and then you'll be ready. <laughs> yeah. Beds on oh. sailing. <laughs> That's, that's on ceiling. That's, oh, what a feeling. That, that's is, that, on, yeah, is that after you're dancing on the ceiling? Yeah, 
Beds occupy too much space in small apartments. I suggest a mechanism allows to lift the bed to the ceiling in an easy way. Tags, <laughs> bed, ceiling, space. <laughs> Bye. Bye. sucks. I want you to develop an app to get rid of there, it. There should be an app that gives you telekinesis that only works on beds. Okay, so even even if this apparatus existed, right? <laughs> Let's just imagine this apparatus existed. Okay, imagine it so hard. Yeah. Okay, your problem is is that beds take up too much space. Uh-huh. So if you lift the bed up to the ceiling, uh-huh. the apparatus is as big as the lifting it up to the nah, ceiling. Nah, You're not no, a, no, 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 because oh. because I guy would lift it up through prayer. Stupid. Oh, okay. You're <laughs> right. You're right. I'm sorry. I forgot about Fuck prayer. Face. Yeah, I'm yeah. so sorry. Fucking stupid. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I still want to tell you about High Five Runners. Uh, my name is Ethan Levy, and our mission is to change the culture of running from an individual sport to a community sport. Right? By How? Racing? Cool. Cool. We give high fives to other runners as we run. <laughs> That'll do it. Yeah. That's all it took. Uh, one foot in front of the other, man. The classic move. <laughs> um, it would be an app. For the Apple Watch, so really wide distribution there. Um, and it would be a game for runners. The app would count how many high fives you collect in a run. What? How Compete against friends. That? Rack up points. Points you can spend to get certain discounts or even free products on running gear. As the community grows, we would build partnerships. Okay, but what if you just stood in place and just applauded for a bit? That would work. Would, then you get a discount not... on applause machines. Yeah. <laughs> applause gloves are really hot. What color are your applause gloves, Bunny Bread? Oh, they're clear. I don't wear any. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I know I co-founded the applause surgeon? gloves. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I, I'm sad this has to come out right you here. You don't wear applause gloves? Well, not all the time. Just when jerking off, all right? Just... For fucking four years, you've been telling me about your goddamn applause <laughs> gloves. I mean, you know, shit. I've... <sighs> Jesus, can we talk about this later? He wasted them all, like, slapping people in the face, challenging them to duels. Yeah, uh, yeah. well, jogging duels. Next you're going to tell them. Well, you run that way, and I'll run the opposite way, and then we'll meet, like, on the other side of the earth, and then it doesn't work. All right, Portax, tell me about gametized cooking, please. (laughs) It's not gamified, it's gametized. Gametized. Yeah, yeah. It's like being hypnotized, but you're a fat nerd. (laughs) Um... Because I've I've been just eating the Cooking Mama CDs. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like Mama. So uh, I don't particularly like cooking, but I would like to cook more. <laughs> well, then I'm a complicated man. I hate everything like about this, strange. but man, I need to get into it. Yeah. So I came up with an idea on how to make cooking fun. Make it a game. Oh. Weird formatting. The game would be a mobile app and could work very similarly to Foursquare. After you're done cooking something, you take a picture of your food and then you quote unquote check in to the food you've made. Eh? Uh, like check in on the food. Like, hey, food, how you doing? Everything okay over check- there? Oh, he is, okay, he, he gives an example. Hang on. Okay. For example, you've made tacos, so you check into tacos. No, okay. <laughs> what? Right? And then you get points for making your first Tex Mex food and whatnot. Oh, I could be the mayor of tacos? <laughs> I would play a game called the mayor of tacos, actually. <laughs> you would obviously share your, your food pictures with other users, and you could share it on Facebook. So it's like I my only motivation to cook is if I like level up my skill tree on an app. How about you just want to learn a skill? How about that? How about hey, that? Lemon. Yeah. I want you to read to me the uh the idea for power nap. Oh, uh, yeah, no problem. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. Okay. There's a reason why I Kevil Kevil Shaw, I'm the Shah of Kevil. Uh there's a reason why I'm uh so successful like as a human being. I'm um, a go getter, and that's because I power nap. Okay, mm-hmm. and my power nap is not the power nap that you're thinking of. Be, see, because power nap is a portable hotel that can be set anywhere at any location, right? Huh? Yeah, power nap cabs are soundproof 
and clients can enjoy multimedia and other facilities. Bye. So it's a Crowd hotel room. Crowdfunds. So it's a funding. Hotel room. Wait, wait. Crowdfunding. Crowdfunds. Funding. You're funds. Right, right. Innovative power nap startup. So, so you just <laughs> bring a coffin with you that you can crawl into, or headphones. It's a, it's a, it's a tent with sound paneling. God, yeah, like if you, you can if enjoy you're... multimedia and other facilities. <laughs> <laughs> the gym. I can yeah. poop on my TV <laughs> if I feel like it. Sure can, can and should. Can. It seems like a hotel room. Well, I might as well take a piss. Have a swim. <laughs> um, and uh, mm-hmm. Jimmy Franks, tell me about the uh, gamified social media for wine lovers. Oh, absolutely. I think you're really going to enjoy this one. Uh, uh, my okay. name's Thiago Yuji Tadakama Chikabota. And uh, I'm going to tell you about gamified social media for wine lovers. The lack of a virtual space to share experiences and convert your tasting experiences and points that could be used to buy in your favorite wine shops. How about earning points for every winery visited? Any premium? How about you fucking air points, you asshole? Hey, 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 any premium wines you drink, and then these stores can use the filtered data to improve their selling methods, been more accurate on the personal tastes of everyone making more money. I suggest a platform for wine lovers. No frills, but organized, and most of all, fun. What? You heard me. <laughs> How many tags? Did I stutter? Oh No, you just said bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you, you eloquently described your dumb bullshit. <laughs> Got any tags there, buddy? Oh, uh, uh, F and B. You know what that means. <laughs> uh, gamified and wine. <laughs> Fucking bumped. <laughs> I've got an idea. Oh, okay. I'm Michael V. Menensella, and it goes like this. That's a pretty good idea. Is your, is your idea scat? Is scat your idea? <laughs> Mission possible. <laughs> Fuck you. Changing the world. Daily, we are too busy. Busy making money. Busy working. Busy building our future. And busy that we even forgot to do something good. To inspire someone. To help change the world. Uh, I mean, sure. No, cool. Yeah, absolutely. Mission Possible is a website with an app. I don't know why. Okay, sure. Cool. Yep. Very long pause. Mm There will be one main project mission for those who are willing to donations. <laughs> Below, okay. then, are mission examples. Cool, great. No, give me some concrete examples. Right. I'm uh, into your ideas. But... Blue, red, white, green, yellow, or gray. Right. You choose to pick your own mission. Oh. Are those, are those Example. Okay. Blue mission, Monday to Friday. We give one to three foul flowers. Oh, Jesus. We give one to three flowers daily to make someone smile. What? Yeah. Okay. Have you have you met my cousin Charlizzle Blizzle? Yeah, <laughs> the Dicky Billy. Saturday and Sunday, all who choose Blue Mission will be sharing of experiences slash stories, <sighs> like using the app to store one picture that serves to be the main topic of your sharing slash story mm-hmm. reflections. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The main idea is this will help us do some things regularly, which is helping. Making someone smile, giving hope, inspiring, and never forgetting to do good. Did we are always busy and forget to help? Not all of us are lucky to have all the opportunities out there. Sad to see street children and homeless people all capitalized. Well, no, it's you know, it's I also am sad to see street children and homeless people, but then when I see street children and homeless people with a fucking flower in their hand, I think the problem. I'm solved, you idiot! <laughs> good. <laughs> I'm glad you agree. See, it's a good idea. He's a collaborator now. Good. You win. Who will inspire them to live? Who will give them courage? Well, a very simple idea, Mission Possible. Simple things we can do to make changes. So you go up to the homeless guy and you're like, look, I know life sucks for you, but dig this picture of a flower on my phone, my really nice phone that I can afford. <laughs> Doesn't that make you happy? 
I'm no, I'm not giving you any money. Oh no, no, no! Don't touch me! No, no, no! But oh, look yeah, at the flower. Don't, don't look at yeah, me. okay, yeah. You must See you later or not. You must. You seem really poor. Did you accidentally spend all of the money in your trust fund? <laughs> the next fiscal year, you'll get more, though. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> See, this idea is being followed by Sag Elk. <sighs> oh, I love his work. Ugh. All right, Jimmy Franks, make me a little happier. Right. Can you give me an idea that'll make I me happier? Have a much better idea than that piece of shit. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that would not be hard. Power converter. Okay. If there can be a device that can convert CO2 from air to power, which can be used to run all electronic devices, this will save the need of generating electricity for small appliances, cell phone, tablet, etc. Hmm. So, what are you going to do, burn it? You're going to burn some CO2? This <laughs> can also <laughs> reduce to reduction in carbon footprint due to so CO2 no. <laughs> emissions in the air leading to carbon footprint. I invented right. robo-trees. Give me money. <laughs> He's going to convert the CO2 into power, yep. also getting mm. rid of the CO2. So, it would... S Set, ship it off to the sun. <laughs> that'll, that'll so, hi, uh, uh, power I'm converter. My, yeah. So my name is Cool Guy. How's oh, hey, Cool it? Guy. Hey. Yeah. I I don't want to be a downer or nothing, but we already have these devices all over the world, man. The, the they're called trees. You know, and they consume yeah. CO two and it gives you the energies. You know, the wood. So that's not the energy you fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah. No, I I smoke the trees. Yeah. Okay. It <laughs> gives them energy, kids. Yeah. Power converter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. B -b 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 power converter. Power converter. Uh, F plus. What did we learn from these terrific, terrific ideas? People think apps can do literally anything. You do. Yes, they <laughs> Apparently, do. Apparently, even stuff that already exists. <laughs> Even things people do anyway, even things that are literally impossible. Even things that are apps, like, that they point to and say, hey, do this, but name is something yeah. different. What <laughs> in the actual fuck? It's like, there should be an app that tells you to change the song on the radio if you don't like it. Okay. It's called the up or down <laughs> button. Don't want to learn how to cook? There should be an app that inspires you to cook. Fucking all right. <laughs> Hypothetically, let's pretend. This is going to be hard, but let's pretend like something showed up on Ideas Swatch that wasn't fucking stupid. No. <laughs> no, uh, just do it. Just I for a minute. I refuse to. Invent <laughs> an app that helps you forget that. I'm with you, Lemon. I'm, I'm support you 100%. Okay, so so the, so the someone puts up an idea that's not fucking stupid. Just take it. <laughs> like, why yeah. would you Yoink. click the co-founder thing and give the motherfucker 50%? No, no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I totally had this idea. Can you add like four other co-founders and then fuck the guy? You only gets like twenty percent. Well, the thing is, there were a few people like leaving comments saying, "I like this idea." Uh, not that I'm gonna take it or anything. Yeah, there were. Like, I, I saw several. Okay. They just said blatantly, uh, "I'm taking this." <laughs> <laughs> On so. this site, where it's pretty obvious to document. <laughs> Fortunately, that person probably doesn't have the ability to do that thing. So, yep. The thing that was the most depressing about this website specifically was that um you know we've we've done other episodes about like ideas and those are just completely unbased in reality it's just this like eh, make it hotter like <laughs> and those are dumb but these are like dumb and also petty and that makes me really sad yeah i think because like not only yeah. are these complete fabrications but they also like, our shit. Like, they're not... Like, nobody's life is improving by this crap. Yeah. They're they're dumb. They're rip-offs of yeah. something clearly better that already exists mm -hmm. in most cases. Mm -hmm. and Or just completely unnecessary. Yeah. yeah, I think all of the people that suggest these think, okay, this is gonna be the thing that makes me a millionaire, is I sold the app that puts beds in the ceilings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the coffee right, juice friend. box. Yeah, I uh I mean, you know, I hope that I hope that somebody figures out a way to gamify more things because that's making yeah. that's making all of that's our lives. Fine. Better. Well, but I'm I'm kind of hoping they don't because then Frank West will destroy us all. 
He will become <laughs> overlord of the U of the universe. I got more fucking your girlfriend, Chivos. <laughs> yeah. I really do. I fucked all being gamified, go to idiots.win or damn the dog. <laughs> That's right. There is a score, but nobody gives a shit. I, I, oh, I mean, yeah, nobody, nobody gives a shit. <laughs> uh, another place that you can earn a score is Ball Pit. Uh, Ball Pit has uh, both a uh, kiss and slap button, and I forget that they're there for like six months out of the year. <laughs> yeah. And then sometimes I remember them. Uh, and that's uh, our, our podcast. So uh, listen to another one. Bye. That's so good at this. Yeah. Power Converter. Da-do-do! Mission Possible!